So the first wine will be showed here, the 2003 Rancha, Vigneto Rancha. Um, yeah, you said it before, it was really hot season. Yes. Two, so vintage, 2003. Yeah. And um, yeah, maybe you can say something about more about the vintage. Yes, the risk when we have, uh, you have a, thank you, a hot uh, season, the risk is to have too much sugar in, in the contents of the, the bunches. Yeah. And uh, the risk is to lose the phenolical apport of the, of the wine. And so, uh, very could be dangerous to lose the harmony. The harmony yeah, the good balance of the wine. There's a grammar of the vinification of the wine, but uh, we have not to forget that Sangiovese is accustomed to to be in an area here, if you know, where normally it's warmer than other areas. So it's not a big problem when it's too warm. It was warmer than is not that in, in the other vintages, and uh, so with the right of vinification. Uh, was possible to to give the, and maintain the character of the different vintage. So we are in a happy situation, not only in facing of course, that all vintages are completely different. It's impossible to say that one vintage is uh, like another one. Yeah, of course. It's impossible. Yeah. So to, 2011 will be different from 2003. But I consider 2003 Rancha a wine that is important to, to taste today uh, to confirm that it's possible to give also in a warm vintage the freshness yeah, that yeah. is typical of San Giovese. San Giovese of Absolutely. Regardless of, um, because of the acidity, right? Yes. Yeah? There's a vitality. Yeah. There's an energy. Yeah. There's a, a, an authentic. Um, not only exterior, but authentical character. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, but it's a wine that needs time. Yeah. You, you cannot taste and go. Yeah. It's time to taste and give time to yourself when you drink a wine like this. It's not immediately seductive sometimes. Sangiovese can be a, a, re a little distant, only at the beginning. But in a second moment, the relation starts to be more intimate, more direct. So um, and that's Sangiovese. The approach is individual approach. Only the second moment it can be shared. Okay. It's very individual. So let's check out the wine. I see directly. It's like from from the color. It's like a deep crimson. It's like a little bit yeah brown to the rim. It's like yeah you see that it had aged some years. Wow, it's it's quite open. It blossoms like it has like aromas like a little bit of tar, smokiness, some 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 um, how do you say some some dark fruit still yeah. and some yeah to tobacco a little bit. Yes. Not too much but this is very typical of Felsina. Yeah. This is yeah. really like um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely um, yeah good nose developed oh. yeah but it's um well let's taste the wine salute salute uh, this is rancha mm. Wow, so much power. It's really, it's a really powerful wine. It's, it's firm. Yes. You have uh, still good fruit, um, um, intensive fruit. I mean, you have the aromas like the like like tan, like some some sage. You have it all in, in, in on the palate. Blackberries, licorice. blackberries, licorice, and but really powerful. And you feel the yes. acidity, yes. which is really balanced. It's high, but it's balanced and gives the wine like um, mm. some vibrant thing. It's very vivid. 
absolutely strong and very and lingers very good. I appreciate the way you describe the wine. Yeah. And uh, if you want, I can say something about what is significant for me, also in relation to the color. Yeah. You see that you can see through the wines. Yeah. And so this is Sangiovese. Yeah, it's not Cabernet or Merlot, which are really dark. Because Sangiovese doesn't need too much color. Yeah. It's not, not so, not so don't thick Don't forget skin. that Sangiovese is a, a good cousin yeah. of another famous grape, yeah. which is uh, Pinot Nero, Pinot Noir. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. They are in relation. And uh, the reason why we have in Farnetella a little production of Pinot, Noir, of Pinot Nero Farnetella is, is, is the other state, state we have in the Sinalunga area. And uh, the reason is in relation of the great opportunity we have to experiment to work with this difficult but great grape very special so we learn through uh, the experience of Pinot Nero something more about Sangiovese Sangiovese is the permanent school we have oh, it's a permanent school so it's doing like a striptease yes. every second it's it's, it's uh, pulling like stripes and more aromas really yeah. it's good layer I like it. So it's like, um, I think it's now, 2003 is now in a good age to drink, but I think it's still um, has potential to age in the cellar, right? Absolutely. For me, for me, it's like uh, maybe more, now it's 2011, I think until 2080, 20? Yeah, for me, in yes. my opinion. So we started to... To produce these wines, uh, this wine uh, Fair Rancha and was for Taloro in 1983. And believe me, all the bottles we have in the cellar are still in very good condition. So now we know that Sangiovese in Chianti, Classico, Sangiovese in good vocated areas, can demonstrate its great, its great potentiality. And uh, this is our everyday work. Also, you're doing and really good work. Thank you. So, um, but it depends also the, of the great cooperation from our workers, yeah. uh, the cellar masters, and the, the pickers, everybody working in the state. It's the, the aging is in, 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 in French oak, right? In barriques? Yes. Or, or you have on, in Grande Botte? We use uh, new barrels, new barriques. We use also some... Uh, bottles and barriques from the previous uh, okay. vintages. Yeah. And uh, it's important to work in the right way to blend. It's not possible to use only new barrique. Okay. But every year we introduce some new yeah. barrique. It's very important to do that. And we don't forget in the case of Rancha also the barrels we have of uh, Slavoni Coke. Uh, in the size of 680 liters. That's another important uh, good bottle. What reminds me, I have to say, before we go to the next wine, it's a good minerality, right? Sure. It's really, it makes the wine more complex. And um, yeah, so then we go ahead with the next wine. It will be 2001 uh, okay. Fontaloro, and 2001 is also considered to be a really good vintage. Um, actually, maybe you can yeah, say something about 2001. I just, I, what I know about 2001 is that I tasted the, the, the wines I tasted from 2001, they were really excellent. Uh, when I remember uh, an, uh, a good vintage from the past, can I? Yes, please. It's normal for me to consider also the other different vintages when uh, they are demonstrated. The, poten the great potentiality of uh, Sangiovese, especially for Fon Fontainebleau wine. So I remember 85, I remember 1990, 97, and 2001 is one of the vintages that we, uh, we found very much interesting because of the great opportunity that nature can give. Yeah. When you have the right the the, the 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 rain in the right moments in the springtime, when you have the, all the phenological different moments 
in the, in the right way when everything is going <laughs> the way we expect to yeah. see. Of course, it's not possible every year, but in the case of 2001, it was a, a pleasure to see how the nature can correspond also to the expectations of, of, of the viticultures. So 2001 was a good vintage, very good vintage. So it's for my first impression is that it's a beautiful color, of course. Look, yeah. it's the deep crimson. I yeah. can you see, can see the fingers through, but it seems to be a little bit darker. See, a little bit only. Yeah. And oh, it's it's like perfume. It's like this wine is really springs out of the glass. Yeah. It, the kind of explosion you have this uh, as, as well these these aromas like tobacco you have the, the, the blackberries a little bit uh, you have like yeah absolutely tar you have the spiciness really good uh, complex nose yeah really approachable also it, it's really open so let's taste Mm. Yes, it's, it's, okay, the, the vintage is different, but the Fontalora 2001 is, is um, yeah, it's more, a little bit more sweeter, it's rounder fruit, it's more polished. It's not for the, it's the, 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 the ranch has more minerality, I think. Okay. Yeah. And um, the tannins are, are yeah, more, here more supple. Um, absolutely, yeah, two, two different wines. Absolutely. Okay. Apart from the vintage, of course. But um, amazing too. Okay, we go ahead with the 2000 Fontaloro. I hold it here in the camera. It's, um, yeah, 2000. Is, is it, um, what's the difference between 2001, 2000? I, you know, that was a, was a great expectation about yeah, yeah. this vintage because of the number. Yeah. But, um, Duemila. Yes, but uh, 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 I don't know what's happened in. Uh, very fast was considered not the great the great vintage people expected to see, and uh, and in my opinion, is not a great vintage, but it's not necessary to demonstrate we have great vintages to show something that is very unique, something that is uh, very particular because of that specific. Uh, uh, different vintage. So I think uh, even if the winters are not so like like two thousand and six, like eighty seven, like two thousand one, I think that it's in in vintage which are not declared as so big or as successful. I think that it's I think that's more interesting to to look on the on the on the on the winemaker on on the, on the fattoria on the vigneron okay. who's making this wine. So um, yeah. Uh, let so me say something was, yeah. about the Sangiovese concept we have uh, also when we we are in uh, uh, always under the control of our clients of our of the people that are of course have uh, great expectations every year about our work but uh, it's important to remember that Sangiovese never need too much extraction. For yeah. that reason, it's important to have not always big vintages, because it's a great opportunity to do something that is very special and very unique because of that different vintage, different climate, different situation, and different moments, also relations with the people in the work. Yeah. So there are many different aspects. But let me say that Sangiovese not, doesn't need too much. Never too much. This is my formula. Never too much extraction. Never too much leaves. Yeah. Never too much bunches in the in, for each vine. Never too, never too much oak. 
for this kind of grape, this, this kind of wine. So there's also balance to respect. Sangiovese needs a lot of care. And also in a vintage like this, yeah, and yeah. you see the color is not so dark, but it's, it, it, it tells something about Sangiovese that for me is important. This Sangiovese in Felsina, with this earthy flavor, with the smoke, we find mushrooms, truffles. This is Fontaloro. Okay. The Fontaloro I like, with this very good acidity also. Yeah. So I watch in a very fu interesting future in this wine, okay. 2000. So let me say 2000 was a great vintage, was a great, a forgotten vintage. Yeah. Oh, it's open, it's more open yeah. than the 2001, right? It's a more, yeah, absolutely, you have this kind of sweetness, you have also this kind of tobacco, tar, mushrooms. Yeah, some some Mediterranean spice like like like, like rosemary, good good fruit. Yeah, some some kirsch. Wow, really complex and, and really open for two thousand. It's yeah. Wow. So let's taste the wine. <laughs> okay. You say accidenti. <laughs> this is really good. It's like it's absolutely round. It's um, it lingers, supple. The the, the good acidity. It's it's uh, it's, it's juicy. It's really juicy. Uh, the tannins are yeah, like I said, supple, very firm. This is a complete wine. It's really long. Has good minerality. So um. Yeah, therefore that you said that 2000 is not the big vintage, I think that's the, the wine. This is, um, I think, a, a big example for don't look not only on the vintage. You have to look also to the to the yeah to the winery. I think this is a good example, and I absolutely um, find this wine really gorgeous. It's like for me, oh, it's like. Even for me, from the flight, the best wine. Yeah, this was the, um, the really special interview. Really, really long, really intensive. Uh, li like the wines of Feltina. Um, appreciate your time that you had really um, for, for me and for the, for the audience, for the wine lovers. Really deep details about you and your, your wines, about San Giovese. So, um, yeah, like you said in, in Italian, um, Tutto bene per voi, per l'azienda, e credo che andate molto bene avanti, i vini sono ottimi, sono, sono è una meraviglia assaggiarli. And if you, well, I, I said it just before, I really, Feltina, I can recommend good value wines and uh, more than this. And so, um, well, I hope you enjoyed the clip and see you in the next clip.